We're getting closer to day seven where you are going to record your very first 15 minute set. For many of you, this is your first set you've done. Uh, for some of you, this is the first set in which you've really started to apply these concepts. And I'm very excited that we're getting closer and closer to that goal. I do want to encourage you to make sure that you are recording your sets because as you're getting closer, those recordings and listening back to those recordings are going to give you a lot of information. So I want to talk a little bit about active listening. What should you be listening for when you're listening back to your recording? And you may be saying, I'm not an expert. How am I going to know what I'm listening for in these recordings? Well, you know, you know, and a couple of things to look out for. One, do the songs, are the songs phrased properly? So when you're mixing from song to song, is there a remainder section that's just all instrumental? Or um, do the songs feel like they got out at the right point? You know, did it feel like it got out at that chorus? Did it feel like it got out after that drop? You know, think about that. Uh, the other things to keep in mind is the overall vibe. Does it seem like the songs go together? Does it seem like they fit together? Other things to keep in mind. Was the mix smooth? Was the volume you know, jumping all over the place or was it nice and smooth the way it came in and out? Did you use a little bit of the EQ? Could you hear that in the way that the songs were mixed together? I want you to get, I, I want, I want to give you more credit than you're probably giving yourself. You know quite a bit about what makes a good mix at this point in time. So I want to encourage you, make sure to record your mixes. You're going to learn a ton off of your recordings. Trust me when I say that. And I know that it's a little, it makes you a little anxious when you hit that record button. That happens to me too. Don't worry, you're not alone. But please make sure that you're recording so that you can listen back and figure out ways that you can improve as we're getting to the final stretch here. One more thing that I want to say about recording. When you are recording the mix, I want you to practice the mix as if it were live and you were just playing 15 minutes. So when you mess up, don't stop, keep going. And actually, if you mess up, which it's very possible that you'll mess up on the first mix or the second track or the third track, like that's, that's a part of what practice is. You're gonna make some of those mistakes. Try and forget about it. Try and leave that mistake where it is and move on and focus on what's in front of you now and the mix that's coming up. I can't emphasize this enough. And this is also a great analogy for life. I mean, you really can only focus on what is in front of you right now. Do not worry about what just happened or too far into the future of what will happen. Just focus on what you have right now and take it literally step by step. Try and keep your energy up, keep your spirits high, record it all the way through, then stop, then maybe try it again, record it all the way through, then stop, then go back and listen to some of these recordings, maybe while you're in the car or while you're at the gym or while you're just doing something else, cooking dinner or whatever that is. All right, so hopefully those are some recording tips that will help you out. We are getting so close. You are now done with day five. I will see you all tomorrow.